Welcome to a short video on reading a graduated cylinder. If you put liquid in a graduated cylinder, for example here we have a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder with a certain amount of liquid in it, to get an accurate reading of the volume of liquid in the graduated cylinder you need to make an estimate and you're going to make an estimate at the bottom of this sort of curved part at the surface of the liquid, what's called a meniscus. And so here's an expanded view, and we can see that the here's the 10 milliliter line, there's the 15 milliliter line. So we have um, lines showing the division for every unit, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 milliliters. Um, clearly the line, the bottom of the meniscus is more than 12 milliliters and less than 13. And then what we want to do is estimate to the tenths place in this case. And so we imagine a straight horizontal line at the bottom of the meniscus and then see where it falls between 12 and 13. And we're mentally dividing the space or the division from 12 milliliters to 13 milliliters into tenths. So 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, and then we're seeing where the bottom of this meniscus lies uh, in that 12 to 13 range. To me it looks like it's well past halfway. I'm going to say it's about 7 tenths of the way from the 12 to the 13, and so I would then read this as 12.7 milliliters where the 7 is the, our last significant figure and it's an estimated value. It's certainly possible somebody might read this as 12.6 or maybe 12.8, uh, but it shouldn't differ by too much in that last digit. And we definitely don't want to report this as 13. We don't want to call it 12.5. We want as accurate an estimate as we can. And so in this case, 12.7 would be our reported value. And that's it for the Reading a Graduated Cylinder short video.